Hey, what's good? We're going to say Shalom. We're going to uh, give all praises to Yahweh. Ba'asum, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asum, Prakaku Das. Double honors to them apostles and them elders, the great millstone. Shalom told the Akim, been out there teaching, been working, putting in work, putting in that work. It's supposed to be about that work. It's supposed to be about that life. <laughs> but we out here, it's, uh, what's today? April 20th? April 20th, 2020. We up in the middle of the Rona, the Rona virus pandemic. The plant, the pandemic. Yeah. You hear people saying that. Oh, it's the pandemic. That's pretty much what it is, though. The pandemic. Oh shit, we was about to go down. We maybe we ain't going down there. Downtown to the state house. But they down there protesting right now. All kind of people down there with guns. Then on the car, yeah, you wouldn't be able to make a video out. It'd just be a bunch of yelling, and you wouldn't get nothing accomplished out there. That's not our spot. That's the spot for the constitutionalists. Let them go fight for their constitution. Okay, you go out there with them. That's like you trying to join forces with them, and you can get the same destruction they're gonna receive. Oh, what's the scripture? Follow not a multitude to do wicked, because really. <laughs> When you out there protesting for the Constitution, you know what I'm saying? That's wicked. That's not in the scriptures. We're in the Bible itself. Follow the Constitution. Let me get that real quick. Constitution. That shit trash is real. They, 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 uh, they, they take pride in that shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they, you know, they say that it's a God fearing country, but they don't take but pride God, in the But what God, though? But what God, all the gods? Because the First Amendment says you can worship whatever gods you want. The Bible, I'm going to show you what the Bible says if you worship any other god in the Bible. Because America, that's what all, America's all about, religious freedom. You can be a Muslim, you can be a Hindu. And that's what you come, when you say you are, you believe in the Constitution, that means you're accepting of uh, people's religious freedoms. Because where in the scriptures say you're supposed to accept uh devil worshipers the bible says thou shalt not suffer a witch to live now you can be you can have religious free you can be a witch you can be a practicing witch like the uh the church of satan gets a 501 c3 uh taxes them status just like the church so really in the eyes of the united states government the church of satan is the same as the baptist church you know what i'm saying it's the same because they equal uh, Deuteronomy 17 and uh, 2. If there be found among you within any of thy gates which the Lord thy God giveth thee, man or woman, that have wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God, transgressing in his covenant, and have gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or the moon or any of the hosts of heaven which I have not commanded. Because really that's what a lot of that paganism is. They worship the sun and the moon. Oh, you got Jakes who worship the sun. Like uh, they worship Ra, the sun god. They called him. You got a lot of so-called black people who are actually Israelites claiming that they Egyptians. And then they worship the sun god Ra. You know what I'm saying? Then you got other Israelites who's pagans. They worship the planets. They might follow the... the you know, you got, actually got people to worship the Greek and Roman gods. There's still people, like a lot of women. They worship goddamn Athena and Minerva. You know what I'm saying? People actually worship Zeus. Because, uh, you know, a lot of them uh, pagan deities, deities are based on the planets. Like any of the hosts of heaven, like Jupiter is a planet, right? You look at all the the God, all the planets are named after gods. Because really, that they worshiping them. Really, they was worshiping the planets. Because you got Jupiter, that's a god, also known as Zeus. And you got what his father is, what, Saturn, Cronus. Then you got Hermes or Mercury. He's the fastest. That's got the fastest, uh, what's that called? Revolution orbit in the sky than all the other planets. Mercury. They go to the sky real fast. And that's why they say Mercury can run fast. Because the planet go fast in the sky. You know what I'm saying? But if there be a found among you with any of thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, man or woman, 
that have wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God and transgressing his covenant, and have gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven which I have not commanded, and it be told thee now is heard of it and inquired diligently, and behold it be true and it thanks certain that such an abomination is wrought in Israel, then shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman which have committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones until they die. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses, shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. But at the mouth of one witness, he shall not be put to death. The hands of the witnesses shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people. So, so shall put the evil away from among you. So that's a serious deal right there. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to worship. The, the punishment for worshiping any other God than the God of the Bible is death. But in America, they got religious freedom. You can worship whatever you want. That's totally contrary to the Bible. So that's why we ain't going to go out and be around no constitutionalist assholes. Yeah, fuck America. Fuck your constitution. What is that? You can turn that some bitch sideways and shove it up your Rudy Pooh candy ass. Fuck about that trash. 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 Huh. You got pre pre's? Uh, Jeremiah 50, uh, 38 says, The drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. For it is a land of graven images, and they are mad upon the idols. They mad upon the idols. America is a land of graven yeah. images. Look, all their holidays is graven images from Easter, all them goddamn bunny rabbits, which represents uh, Ishtar. Because rabbits represent fertility. If you look up any ancient depictions of Ishtar, oftentimes she's depicted with a rabbit. And Easter is the name of a goddess. That's idolatry. Just like Christmas is idolatry. They got all kind of idols up in Santa Claus. Santa Claus is really, I mean, that, when you look into it, based upon Father Christmas, which is really Odin, you know what I'm saying, which really go back to Baal, Baal worshiping. Oh, they put a Christmas tree in the house. That's an idol, bro. What y'all doing with a tree up in your house? We already know the uh, Jeremiah, the, uh, was that the 10th chapter? It, te it tells you not to put a Christmas tree in your house. Y'all do it anyway. That's an idol. Y'all worship that tree. They take time and they decorate that tree. They put care into it. And then they bow. <laughs> That's why they say they put presents under the tree. So when you go down to get them, you got to bow to the tree. They, they be goddamn things idle. Uh, fucking, uh, uh, Statue of Liberty. Yeah, uh, damn, I forgot what I was about to say. Shit, uh, Donald Trump make MAGA hats as an idol. Yeah. Shit. Fucking, uh, damn, I forgot what I was about to say. Love my train of thought. But yeah, that horoscope, everything they do, they won't, they won't do nothing without idols, you know, uh, uh, uh okay, like they won't, they won't, they won't, uh, date a person unless you. Compatible, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, you gotta be a Zodiac, gotta be compatible and yeah. shit. It's like they always, you know what I'm saying, they always gotta go to, uh, to, to uh, it, oh, that's what I was about to say. You can look up all these different shows and movies and shit like that, it was always, what they call them, the people in the world, they call it subliminal messages, whatever it is, yeah. when they got all these different symbols and shit, and it means like, it's like, it's endless and shit, like, every single episode, every single show, movie, there's always something. With the little, little triangle, or whatever, the little eye, whatever case is. Vesica Pisces, yeah. penises everywhere. Yeah. Like, the, the famous one, like the Little Mermaid movie. When, when, they, <laughs> when they go to the underwater uh, world, the underwater city, all the, the, uh, the uh, castles and buildings look like penises. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what that sexual magic is in all their movies. All kind of satanic symbolism is up in these movies. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Look like a polar bear. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, the hell is that thing? I never seen that thing too damn big. It's goofy, you know, someone else. It's uh, Psalm 16, and uh, uh, I'm gonna start at uh, four. It says the sorrows shall be multiplied that have hastened after another god. To drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take of their names into my lips. Oh, another god, and another good point too. You always gotta bring out. Is the symbol of America is the symbol of another god, is the eagle. And that eagle goes back, that's the eagle of Jupiter, or the eagle of Zeus. 
You look it up. Uh, Zeus had an eagle named Aetos. Go look it up. I, would, what is it? I think it was an eagle or something like that. Because Jupiter is represented by the eagle. And that's why the Roman legions, they went into battle with the, with the eagle standard. That's why they had eagles on their shields. That represents Jupiter. And that's why they got an eagle on the back of a dollar. That's why the president, when he gives a speech, he's got the presidential seal with the eagle on it. That go back to Jupiter. And the funny thing is, Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. is named after uh, Capitol Lean Hill in ancient Rome, which was what? That's where he, the Temple of, Temple of Jupiter was located. So that's some idol worship. They're having that damn eagle everywhere. That's fucking idol worship. And you ever, you ever see the memes and shit they be posting? They the hillbillies even wear the t-shirts. Or you'll see them t-shirts and memes. They got an eagle flying through the sky with an American flag behind it saying, God bless the USA. Or it'll have an AR-15 uh, next to it or something. <laughs> These motherfuckers. And y'all so stupid. And they call themselves Christians. And they're using that symbol of the eagle. Oh, let me get this real quick. Can I get one for you? Just made me think of this scripture. Uh, it take it take me long enough to get it. Ephesians, ah shit. Eph, it. Ephesians two, and two. Wherein in times past, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Who's the prince of the power of the air? That's the devil. And really, that's go to Jupiter too. You know what I mean? He was the prince of the power of the air. Because this was written to the Ephesians. And Ephesians, before they uh, converted, convert means with truth. Con plus vert, with truth. Because before they could, got the truth, they was worshiping goddamn Zeus and Jupiter. You know what I'm saying? They probably used the eagle. That's the spirit of work of the disobedience. That's the spirit of this world. This is, that's the spirit of the world to be a proud American. <laughs> I mean, you, know, like, you go to a baseball game, they do the national anthem, everybody stands up, yeah. people salute me, yeah. like, God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is trash. That's the spirit of work. Look, where in the times past you worked, and we used to be like that, because in times past, we worked, we walked according to the course of this world. We used to be a part of the world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So that's disobedient. When you out here pushing the, the laws of the white man over the laws of the Bible, that's disobedience. You got a lot of people do that shit. They, you know what I'm saying? Because they put the constitution and shit above the Bible. Like that's their main focus. Their main goal in life is to to uphold the Constitution. You shall you shall not tread upon me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You shall you know they little bullshit gats and flags and shit. You shall you shall not tread on me. Man, the most high gonna tread on you. See how you like that. Y'all should have been out there reading the scriptures. Y'all out there reading the amendments, you should have been reading the scriptures. Fuck your amendments. Like the 13th Amendment. They don't talk about that one, do they? The 13th Amendment says there shall be no slavery in the United States unless somebody is convicted of a, of a crime. And that's why you can see this uh, prison complex they got going on. This uh, corporate-ran corporate uh, prison system. Got all these people in slavery. If you commit a crime in the United States, according to the Constitution, they could put you in slavery. Now, what do you think that was written in there like that for? And who, who's, who's, who's the highest rate? Who, who, who's in the prisons? It's mostly Israelites in prisons. Mostly so-called black people and Latinos are the top two, ain't they? And most of them white boys in there, they're probably Israelites too. Probably some whacked out Irishmen or something. Or the Italians. You know, the Italians, they just, they little organized crime bullshit. So. Always snitching on each other. Getting locked up. So, this is, uh, Those your girls over there. Uh, That's the, the same eating white women. Trash. This is 
is uh, Hooker Coop 2 and uh, 18. What profit the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? The molten image and the teacher of lies and a maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, awaken to the dumb stone, arise. It shall teach. Behold. And then you still got people that actually worship them statues. Like, I'll say my mom. My mom got a, a Queen of Heaven collection. Uh, Mary. Have you seen her garden? Yeah. Outside in the back. Do you see the big ass Mary statue? I think I did. Yeah. Right in the middle of the garden. I mean, she had the garden looking nice too. But right in the middle of that garden, boy, she got the Mary statue standing, you know, with her I think her hands are out or some shit. Because she think that's blessing her garden. Yeah. You Trash. know what I mean? Trash. All you need to think you need to do to bless your garden is just pray. Yeah, that statue, that's just a pe that's just a statue. That was probably some cheap shit that came from China any damn way. Made on an assembly line. Like, that got power. You know, like, people with their little garbage, they got their rosary. They do that, uh, they hold their cross and they do this little, uh, little witchcraft shit. <laughs> but they really be praying to that Mary. You ever watch some Catholics, bro? They got all the idols. They be having a, I seen this one Mexican church. They had this, uh, big-ass statue of Mary. This motherfucker was huge. And they just had candles lit all around. They had, you know, probably a thousand candles lit around it. It's all about Mary. Ain't none even about the Lord. That's, I, that's idol worship. Having a crucifix on your neck, that's idol worship. Because they wear that because they think it got power. They ain't got no power. That's just some old cheap ass necklace you got. But yeah, uh, too, uh, I see videos of people carrying different idols and shit, and they be falling and shit. <laughs> they, 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 you know what I'm saying? They fall on the ground and shit, they're breaking. Like, that shit can't help itself. But you, you praying to this thing, and this thing can't even help itself. And it just falls and breaks its fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. So what's the point of praying to it? Right, man. You got a lot of these Odin worship. Like, Odin and Thor worship. Like, Neo-Pagan. What do you call it? Uh, they worship the Aesir, the Norse gods. That, that's getting real big, you know what I mean? Like in the past few years, you know, that neo-paganism is getting popular. You know, like witchcraft is getting popular, you know what I mean? Because that's linked into the paganism. All that paganism and witchcraft is getting popular. So you're going to see a lot of people wearing the uh, Mjolnir, the Thor's hammer necklace. That's how I was watching videos. They, they, they got tutorials on how to uh, set up gods. They get their little Odin god and Thor god and Frey god, their little wooden gods. And they set up, set them up, and do a ceremony. Man, y'all look stupid. That ain't no different than me getting out some GI Joes or Transformers. I'm gonna set them up and have a ceremony with them. Except for my Transformers look cooler than your gods. You know what I mean? That's like playing with toys. That's just retarded. You gotta be a mental retard to actually be like a Christmas tree. You gotta be mentally retarded to. to they actually go through with that every year. We gotta put this tree up and decorate this on bitch. They actually go through with it and do it. You got me fucked up. You ever heard that movie, uh, The Mummy and shit? The motherfucking, uh, <laughs> your boy, that one nigga, that little coward nigga, I forgot his name. I ain't yeah. seen that, I ain't seen that in a minute. Yeah, dude. I ain't seen that shit since it yeah. came out. That little, that little dude, whatever, he, uh, like, every time the battle starts, he, like, leaves and runs, runs away and shit, <laughs> but, uh, dude, he was, uh, yeah, the, the mummy nigga came out and shit, and then, uh, he about to kill him and shit, and then he started pulling out these different necklaces. Oh, he shit. Had the, he, had the, he had the Hindu thing, he started speaking in Hindu, like, he took out, that shit didn't work, so he took out the little Muslim shit, he started speaking in Muslim shit, whatever, that shit wouldn't work, and he pulled out the little so-called Star of David, started speaking Hebrew and shit. And then that supposedly worked. Oh, that worked. Yeah, he oh, said, he spoke that Hebrew. The yeah, Hebrew yeah. had some power yeah, to it. He said, he oh, said, shit. He said, uh, that, oh, that was on, uh, that was in The Mummy? Yeah. yeah. I'm about the, to rewatch that. Yeah, I think it was the, yeah, the first one. I ain't seen The Mummy since it came out, so that was even before I was in The Truth. Yeah. yeah he was like, he was like, he was like yeah, the uh, language of the slaves. He said, I got used oh, for Oh, shit. You. Yeah. And then, Damn, I got to watch that. Yeah. But yeah, so the, it's the thing. Like, that's the point. Like, all that shit didn't work. That little, cause that's what people do, really. That's what these people do today. They just go to one religion to another, or they be like, oh, I'm just going to mix all of it together because I'm not sure, so I'm just going to mix all of them together. And that, that's, what, that's what the Freemasons do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what America is. Yeah. You, you know, mix it all together. 
Because it was found by Freemasons. Yeah, that's crazy. I gotta check that. What vampire movie was that? Uh, man, when they try to put the cross on his forehead and then at first he started screaming like, ah! He's like, ah, that bullshit don't work. Oh, uh, that's uh, Exorcist, I think. That was the Exorcist. Oh, I'm probably thinking something. That was a vampire movie because he put the crucifix <laughs> on. First he screamed like it was hurting him and he's like, oh, that shit don't work, bro. Okay, y'all know. I don't Damn, know. what was that? That was a good vampire movie. But, but I remember the Exorcist movie. The dude, he was pouring, he was, he was pouring so-called holy water, but he was like, he said, he told the girl like, it's not holy water, it's just fake water, cause he, cause he didn't, he wasn't even fucking sure, cause it, that's remember, cause they was like, cause it was like, uh, they, the, the Christ, the, the Catholic Church, they don't really believe in exorcism, yeah. they just doing it so they can like make the person that actually think they have demons, think they, they have that's an a placebo, yeah. So then, so the dude was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna test it and see if this shit real, or whatever, and he had like regular water and try to act like it's holy water. Dude was acting like, oh, it hurts and shit, and he was like, was this fake and shit? But then at the end, oh yeah, then then uh, then he then he uh, as a matter of fact, even the nasty part too, they had the little the little, the little Jesus piece. Yeah, remember she was she was you know. She's like, fuck your fucking yeah. So I forget how good that movie was good, man. Yeah, I remember she's like, the soul is mine. Yeah, she started stabbing her pussy with a yeah. crucifix. Then, that shit was hard. Then the end, the little the one the one priest nigga, the old nigga, he did something for cost, I think. Yeah, he he's yeah he shit. he kept saying uh. And by the power of Christ, I compel thee. By the power of Christ, I compel thee. Yeah, and he started, he started raising up and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he started, he's like, oh, shit. He know he fucked up right there. Hey, real quick, though. You know that holy water shit? That actually goes back to paganism also. Sorry. Holy water is paganism. That, where in the scriptures say get some holy water? <laughs> I mean, like, we know that there's parables or metaphors. That, you know, that we know the truth is living water. You know, the Holy Spirit coming up. That's like the spirits of living water. But there's nothing, nothing called holy water. I mean, you can get baptized, but there's no thing called holy water you take and sprinkle on people to get, they can kill vampires and shit. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> that shit don't exist. That's, 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 that's the pagan shit that they mix when, uh, when Christianity, this is what happened, when so-called Christianity, but this is what really happened when the Roman Empire was spreading and when Christianity became the uh, state religion of the Roman Empire, they started mixing all the paganism in, in with the Bible, you know what I mean? To make to make everybody happy. Because they had a lot of pagans and Christians in the empire, so they had to make them all get along somehow. So they just started mixing everything together. And that's why I use people celebrating Christmas and Easter. Because that was the mixing together of the Christians with the, with the Norse and Germanic pagans. Mixing all their holidays together. Because a lot of the Norse pagans, they would convert and they would still celebrate their old holidays. Go ahead. This one's kind of long. The point, main point is at like 17. I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at 10. It says uh, this whole chapter really fire too. You know, you know, bam, it's fire. Where, Where uh, are you at? Wisdom Solomon 13. I'm gonna start at uh, 10. It says, but uh, but uh, miserable are they, and in the dead things is their hope. Who called it. And dead thing? Oh, yeah. go ahead. I don't all want to all say dead things like he cut down trees and shit, and then oh yeah, yeah, dead. That's like, exactly what I was gonna say. A, yeah, a Christmas tree is literally dead. Yeah. You got a dead thing in your a carcass, because that's what Christmas represents is death. Sorry. It represents death. You got an actual dead being. A, a tree's a being with a spirit. Okay. And you got a dead ass tree up in your house, and then they decorate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why. That's why Lord said they made their image. They uh, forgot it was in Romans one when they said they used the, uh, they turned the incorruptible God into a corruptible God. Yeah. Like, Lord, how he's incorruptible? How you gonna limit the Lord to a little ass figure that can't even move itself? That thing is dead. The Most High, he's everywhere. He's living. He's got his life. You know what I'm saying. Why right, you see the most high in everything, man. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, it says, uh, who called them gods which, which are the works of men's hands, gold and silver, to show art and in, and resemblance of beast or stone, good for nothing. Good for nothing. Yeah. Even them churches. Yo, yeah. beautiful, they got them beautiful church buildings. I mean, them buildings be looking sweet, too. I mean, the architecture kind of sick. But still, man, this shit's still trash. Like the Lord said, he's like, you going how are you gonna build me a house? What is that? Act seven. He said uh, the mo the temple of the Most High is not made with human hands. 
How you gonna build the most high house? Like like you said, how you gonna put the contain the most break the most high down to an idol, a little tiny figure? Or a tree. Or any of this other bullshit. People are simple. Yeah, it's crazy. You, you got to take care of it more than it take care of you. That's what it's what's going to go into. It's going to say you got to clean it off and shit. You could lose it. You could lose it. Right? People just step on it. Yeah. That's how they found all them artifacts from the ancient world, all them idols. They just in the mud. How, so, you know what I mean? Yeah. All them years in the dirt. Like the boy, was that, Troy? Chopped the nigga's head off. Chopped the little stone thing head off. Oh, yeah. God, they they chopped off Apollo's head, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that, too? The Apollo was black. And that Troy, if you pay attention in the temple, you see Apollo, he got like the, uh, he kind of got like dread or braids or something. You can see he is not not look like a so-called white man at all. In that movie Troy, you got to pay attention. It don't show it very long. You got to pay close attention. This is of a stone good for nothing, the work of an ancient hand. Now a carpenter that filleth timber, as he have sown down a tree meat for the purpose, take up off all the bark skillfully round about and have brought it handsomely and made a vessel thereof fit for the service of man's life and after spending the refuse of his work to dress his meat hath filled himself and taken the very refuse among those which serve to no use that's crazy he, he used a thing that's have no use <laughs> so that's like how you gonna compare that to the most high like a like a christmas tree too you keep thinking because that's something everybody does like we got no it literally has no use what is the use? It says, being a, a crooked piece of wood and full of knots have... <laughs> a crooked piece of... Yeah, they made out of some shit material, too. Yeah. It's like, how, how the hell are you... The most I made you, so the, how are you supposed to make him? That uh, made no sense. I remember they had this one thing down in... It's here in Ohio. I forget where it was. Touchdown Jesus. You remember that? I think there was this big-ass Jesus statue. He had his hands up like this, like he was doing the touchdown symbol. Uh, he had his hands, it's called Touchdown Jesus. This song, is, he got struck by lightning. So, Most High hit it with lightning and caught it on fire. So, That's what he thought about your idol. So, I mean, and then they were so proud they built another one. Like, so you, didn't you, when, when you think you would take that as a message? Message? Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, he says... It says, and formed it by the skill of his understanding and fashioned it to the image of a man or made it like some vile beast lying in over with uh, vermin and with paint coloring in red and covering every spot therein. And when he had made a uh, coven, 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 oh, it's like, I'm tripping. It's like broke apart. Yeah. Convenient room for it, set it in a wall and made it fast with iron. And too, you ever see some of them ancient Greek sculptures? Them things be looking real as fuck, too. You see people, they start getting uh, enamored by that shit. They just start worshiping it. He said, yeah, I always fucking hate statues. Man, that shit creepy as hell. That's creepy, like the ones downtown? Yeah. They look like they be staring at you? Yeah, that's why I don't, I don't like the looking at the eyes and shit. Make it look like it's falling. You see that shit? This got a they video. do. They got a video in uh, India. But they got the little eyes thing with the little. They, yeah. they, their guys are fucking creepy as fuck. The little multiple arms shit, and every time you, every you walk over there, eyes follow you and shit. That's creepy. But well, you can like it follow you. And you can see why somebody with a simple mind would they get bugged out by that, by yeah. how how real the statue looks. Yeah. And they, oh, this is a god. Yeah. Them dumbasses. They actually, they they actually, because the, the video I watched, the person in there was like, yeah, see, yeah, this. They were pretty much saying that their god is real because the eyes is following you. But that's just like a, some type of illusion or whatever the fuck. Cause they got they got like a dolls and shit in America. They make their eyes feel like it fall. They got like yeah. owls and shit. So that's not that's not a fucking god. Cause it's just an illusion. Man, them Hindus are some weirdos. They got these uh they do these uh <laughs> they got these phallic stones. They take these stone these sacred stones. They got you ever see it? No. And they they look well, they're supposed to be like a phallic type symbol. And they take this stone and they just pour milk over it. They pour milk libations on it, and they polish it and pour milk on it. It's like they're jacking it off or something. Look it up, man. Look up Hindu milk libations. Look that shit up. Watch a video on it. That make you never want to go to India. That's some weirdos. Some other shit. They, they on some whole nother shit, bro. They worship the rat god, the six-armed blue god. 
They got a monkey head. One nigga got a monkey head. One nigga got an <laughs> elephant head. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on, man. Come y'all on, y'all man. crazy. Y'all niggas is doing too much. That's why That's why y'all need to be put. I, I need to be put in control. But that's, y'all just stupid. Why people go look for different inspiration like our women? They doing all that yoga. Yeah. They go, they go I'm going to go with my yogi. My yogi, my instructor. Oh, he done opened up my eyes and my chakras. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Krishna, what, Krishna, whatever, whatever. What, yeah, what's, Krishna. What's that one nigga that get high or whatever? What they say? Some people would say he getting high. Some people would say he wasn't. I don't know what the fuck. I think it's what Krishna. They, I that think, was one of the top guys in the Mahabharata. Okay, I think I think that's it. it he's blue too. Yeah, that's that nigga. Now, a lot of them is blue. Cause he look all blown, like his eyes all tilt. Like yeah, he's like, really supposed to be like a plagiarized version of Christ. Some yeah. people say. Yeah, that's probably why. He, on the dreads too Cause you got a lot of them Elamites wearing them dreads and shit And smoking weed and shit That's probably where all that Jake got that shit from I don't know what the fuck but it's bugged out Anything goes in India Yeah That shit They, they some weirdos yeah. It says uh, uh, For he provided He provided for it That it might not fall Knowing that it was unable To help itself For it is an image And have need of help Yeah that's why too In the <laughs> I just keep reading here this bullshit, man. It's like, man, these people actually got these idols in there. Bullshit Santa Claus. Like, you just want, you just ever see the Santa Claus a reindeer up in someone's front yard? You just want to go up and kick that motherfucker. Like, uh, just, <laughs> just kick the fuck out of it. Watch the reindeers fly. Yeah. So we, huh? Yeah, so oh, yeah, Saruka? Yeah. Hadouken! Yeah. <laughs> Shit, when we was little, we used to skip school. During Christmas time, we used to go around, and this was the spirit though, because we didn't know what he was doing. But we used to do just that. We used to go fuck up people's Christmas decorations. We used to take their lights, bust them, and break them. We fucking kick Santa Claus, kick all the reindeers over, throw them in the street. We disrespected the hell out of their so decorations. Busting out people's windows. We, man, we was bad. Especially that Jesus, that's, that idol is shoot. Oh, here, I got this fire scripture. So this is what you're supposed to, well, I'm not telling nobody to do this, even though that's what the Bible says. But we're supposed to teach people, teach forgiveness. <laughs> but here's what the Lord told Israel to do. I'm not telling nobody to go commit no acts of violence. Shit, they'll lock us up. <laughs> Deuteronomy 12 and 1. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which the Lord thy God of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains, upon the hills, and under every green tree. Ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. A grove, that's the Christmas tree. When you look that word grove up in Hebrew, it says Asherah, which is the name of a goddess. Uh, she's a, the, the queen of heaven. That's what Mary is, is Asherah. She got many names. She's known as Isis, Asherah, uh, Ishtar, Easter. What's another one? All them, all them goddesses. You know what I mean? Y'all know the queen of heaven. She's represented by a tree. That's where that Christmas tree come from. That's, a, that's an ancient practice. That, that ancient Israelites who was being wicked and evil, they set up Christmas trees in their house and put presents under them, put, uh, decorated it with silver and gold. Then you shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And you shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. You shall not do so unto Yahweh your power. Ooh, that's fired up. He said, well, you got to break it down. He said, okay, you got to burn their crows with fire. He spoke, like a Christmas tree, the best thing you could do with that is burn. I'm not telling nobody to do this. If you want to do it in the privacy of your own home in a safe environment, that's on you. But you're supposed to burn a Christmas tree with fire. Okay, it says that you're supposed to take the, you shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. 
Like, you know how people say that, that they, if they find an old uh, ancient Greek idol or something, they're like, oh, this is so beautiful. You gotta put this in a museum. No, we destroy that shit. We'll pulverize it. Take turns beating it with a sledgehammer. You know what I'm saying? That's what you should really do with it. Because you know, really, if you don't destroy it, what's going to happen if you don't destroy it? Somebody going to come up, they're going to see it. Like, oh, this is amazing. What's this? Oh, it's a god. What's his name? And they, get, they start getting interested in them false gods. That's what, that's what that does. Hey, what's happening? Hey, how you doing, guys? <laughs> All right, they just messed up the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what you're supposed to do with the graven images. and uh, You're supposed to burn them. You're supposed to burn their altars. Uh, so what do you think, really, ultimately, what do you think is going to happen? And that's why the Most High is what bring a fire to the earth. And that's why he's going to burn America with fire. Because that's why all these churches is what? they pretty much pagan temples. they all pagan temples, and they're all going to get burned with fire. They've all been teaching our people for years and years that it's okay to celebrate Christmas. So they're going to get burned up with fire. And the pastors, is the pastors out here that has not been teaching people the right way, Y'all gonna get burnt with that fire. Y'all gonna get burned up. That's hell. That's that hellfire. Y'all gonna eat missiles. You got anything? Yeah, it's pretty piece of fire. Ten. This one is uh, Wisdom Solomon 14 and uh, 11. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a vegetation, because in the creature of God they become, they became uh, an abomination and stomach block to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, because like I was saying, this is a stumbling block. Because like I said, if you, if you just say, oh, we can't destroy the statue, so beautiful. Look at the craftsmanship. It's history. This is history. Fuck that history. If you don't, yeah, fuck that history. Yeah. That history going to get you fucked up. Okay? Not all history is good history. Okay? Some shit you just need to destroy and forget about. Because like I said, like you... Like you see, they teach about Greek gods and goddesses in school. And what gets people interested in it? It's the art. They might see a, a sculpture or something. You know what I mean? Oh, that's beautiful. See a sculpture of Apollo and Hermes. Like, oh, that's amazing. They want to know more about it. And then they start reading it. At first, it's just mythology and history to them. But now, after a while, now they're worshiping in the gods. You know? I got a sister like that. She's been in, in a paganism for years. We was raised up on the scripture. She was always talking about these other gods. <laughs> it says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of for, uh, spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. And that's how they do get you is with the artwork. Hey, that's how the churches get you with the art. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, like the uh, Sistine Chapel. You know what I'm saying? All the Renaissance artwork. You know what I'm saying? The Queen of Heaven statues. Yeah, with the lust of the eyes. Yep, the lust of the eyes. Yep. Yeah. They look at them. All this is beautiful. They look at us like, what kind of garments they these niggas got on? Cause we, you go, yeah. We don't got no. We don't got no gimmicks. We don't got no. We just. This is. We ain't, like we ain't do nothing flashy. We just. The only thing we do right now is just reading. But they go to. You go to these churches. They got statues and, and all this other crazy shit. And their church is decked out. And the real big churches like over there in Constantinople, where they got took over, or the Vatican. You know, that it's just decked with gold, statues, you know, the finest of everything. I mean, it's just, because you go in there, you just be overpowered by his beauty and, the, you know, the engineering and architecture and shit. But it ain't got nothing to do with the truth. But that's how they get you. They get you with the, that's really a form of witchcraft right there. That's a form of magic. They put a spell over you with that to make everything, that's, that's just like the fruit. Ruin the fruit. Eve said that that fruit was pleasing to the eyes. Yeah. It's the fruit from the serpent. The forbidden fruit, the, the forbidden fruit, always gonna be pleasing to the eyes. That's why when you go into one of them churches, it's pleasing to the eyes. Got they got the nice building. All oh, people wear their Sunday's best. Everybody wearing suits. If you go in there dressed like a bum, they gonna look at you like you crazy. They my boy, you ain't got no sense. You better put a suit on, put on a tie. You know. It's all about ple pleasing the eyes. They don't care about pleasing the spirit. You got more to that? Yeah, it says, uh, 
it says, For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. For by the vain glory of men they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come surely to an end. So very shortly y'all gonna come to an end. Hey, remember the Lord said, start at my house first. Yeah. Or my sanctuary first. A lot. Because these, these pastors are teaching idolatry, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, fucking American Idol. You, now, now, now you're your own fucking idol. Or you are a celebrity. Yeah, they worship celebrities. Yeah. America's are... Americans are infatuated with fucking the celebrities. Yeah. They, uh, oh, shit, I was, I was watching that bullshit. Uh, well, I don't know. Because I was called Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan documentary with my dad yesterday. Yeah. That shit was trash, but it was all right. But oh, was, you watched it? What was that? Uh, uh, was that Netflix? Nah, I don't know. He was, I think it's on cable or whatever. Oh, I heard about it. It's supposed to be real good. Yeah. And it's, uh, I think it was like part two, whatever. And then one dude was like, yeah, Michael Jordan, that's not, that's not, Man, that's that's God in disguise, huh. Michael Jordan. It's like, man, what the? Fuck? Who was that? I heard somebody say some. I heard somebody else said uh, they called him. They said he was Jesus with sneakers. Uh, they said he was Jesus with sneakers. Even you know, one song, uh, it was a little baby, whatever. I, I would say. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, it was like he's like I'm a, uh, they know I'm a God in, in my hood or whatever. Like, man, on, but man. one thing I would say this: you could say he is a God of basketball. Yeah. He, yeah, Cause God means power. Yeah. Cause we're gods. I mean, you can be a god. You can be on a godly level. You yeah. know, what I'm like you know, sometimes yeah, you get in that spirit. Oh you, yeah, but we hit God mode. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But God mode means you in the spirit. You just, you just beasting. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that nigga, he took it to the. Yeah, I know what you said. He yeah. said he put him on the level of the Most yeah, High. Yeah, yeah. I know how they do. It. That's like when he said Jesus for sneakers. Yeah. And that's with that nigga Nissy Hustle, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know. Oh, Nipsey Hustle. I don't, oh, I don't know shit about that. But when they was, they was, they turned to the, to the Messiah. Like, oh, damn, niggas is like literally people. People was literally calling nigga Jesus. It's like what? Is that a crip, nigga? Jesus, you name you Jesus, but you're a crip. Come on, son. Crip. That just sounds like something satanic. Yeah. Crip. Well, you in a crypt? Dick was blue and red and all that shit. That's you know, the same colors as the American flag. Yeah. Put them together. Yeah. Y'all good old Americans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They look at Michael Jackson. I mean, that nigga, he, like I said, he was a guy, but he, they, 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 shit, they just throw that shit to the clouds with that nigga. Like, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, it says, uh, where was that? <laughs> what about your boy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about your boy, Heli Selassie? Oh, shit, damn. <laughs> That's your boy. Oh, they really worship him like he was. Yeah. They say he was Jesus reincarnated. Yeah, that's your boy right wow. there. Wow, big foreheaded ass nigga. Big weird looking motherfucker. Five head ass nigga. Man, y'all was <laughs> smoking that good shit to fall for that. Yeah, that ganja. Y'all got had the best ganja in the world yeah. to believe in that shit. That shit was laced. I thought we was supposed. They say weed <laughs> makes you smarter. Yeah, oh shit. How was that? Y'all worship a Heli Selassie. That fucking Bob Molly's wife, that bitch said when he came to America, he saw his hands had a, had a, had a hole in his hand. Like, man, you stupid bitch. How the uppercut your shit? You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. It's a dumb. And just like people believe that dude, uh, Jermaine Grant, was a comforter. Oh, yeah. And now he dead, though. He, he dead. He gone. That boy gone, gone, gone. He, he went to fucking prison for, for uh, what, stealing money from his own country, whatever the fuck. Uh, hey, man, I think it was money probably money laundering, laundering or something like yeah. that. I forget what the exact charges were. Like it's probably because he wasn't paying taxes or something. And he was making a lot of money. Yeah. You know he was making it off his congregation. Sorry. Right, like you were saying. That nigga. Yeah. Shit, man. You got to worry about him no more. Yeah. So who's next? Oh, I'm sorry. Now you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, no, you... She, she maybe she thought I was gonna give it to her. Yeah. She looked like a uh, that bitch looked like Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a Sasquatch. Yeah. <laughs> so who next though? Who is next? Yeah. So comfy, most high. It, it might, I said it might have took a minute. It didn't really take that long though. Really, the most high got it. So who's next? Got your boy Kobe. <laughs> oh Kobe, yeah. out the game. Oh Kobe, you ever notice how Kobe Bryant, COVID virus? COVID, COVID, it sounds similar. 
That shit ain't no coincidence. What are you trying to vocab alone? When's he going to get it? Only the Lord knows. We don't know. But we do know that you're going to get it. We do know that. But Vocab really thinks he ain't going to get it. He really thinks he's good. You see what happened to Comfy? What's that, Galatians? When a man thinking himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. I look at these bumblebees. I don't think they respond to whistles. <laughs> I like bees. I got something for you. I can find it. I'm trying to get that one when Hera got put to death. He got hit with the boils and everything. I think it's this one. Herod, he died a miserable death. Oh, here you go. They Ooh, said, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, go. No, you got okay. it. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> so, Acts 12, it, uh, <laughs> uh, Acts 12, it, uh, let me see. Let me start at uh, 21. And upon his seat, dead, it's like, and upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made or, 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 or oration unto them and the people gave a shout saying it is the voice of a god and not of a man ha! they said it's the voice of a god and not a man mm -hmm. yeah. and immediately the well you know even after the roman emperors died they would deify him and actually you know what when uh <laughs> they killed caligula because he said he was god he tried to say he was god while he was alive I was like, no, we got to kill this guy. Even the Romans knew they was taking it too, he was taking it too far. So, yeah, so that was the thing, though. Because you're supposed to worship the Caesar like he was a god. And they did that to the pharaohs, too, I think. Yeah, the, all the pharaohs say he was Horus in the flesh. They say the pharaoh was actually like Horus. And you were supposed to worship him as he was a god. As he was the most high himself. You know what I mean? And then even uh, Xerxes said he was the king of kings and lord of lords, didn't he? They all gone. Through. Through. Where do the Egyptians go? I ain't heard from them in a long time. Shit, most hot fucked them up. Egyptians. Ain't no more ancient Egyptians. They found them damn pyramids of sphinx buried under sand. <laughs> Through. Uh, it says, and immediately the angel of the Lord smoked him because he, he gave not God the glory. Yeah, immediately the Most High, what it says, smote him? Yeah. Because he gave not the glory to the Most High. And he was eating of worms and gave up the ghost. Yeah, he was eating of worms and gave up the ghost. And that's all it says right there, ain't it? He was eating of worms. Yeah. Yeah. There's other historians too to go into greater detail of the. Uh, go watch, get on YouTube, and we'll go watch a documentary on Herod, and it goes into detail about how he died. It was a miserable, disgusting death. So the Most High pretty much tortured him, tortured him to death. That's what he gave everything, put himself on a plane of the Most High. Yeah, he said, fucking maggots eating him, and then he gave it, so he, he probably was still alive. Oh, uh, maggots, maggots still eating. is eating him. Oh, oh, man. That's like the number one fucking. Grossest shit that I can think of in my life. I you get some maggots just infested in you, yeah. eating you. Yeah, if I, if you they said it was all up in his nuts and his ass and everything. That's nasty, bro. That happened to me, bro. I'm dirty, bro. I'm, I'm getting up the ghost, bro. I'm, I, that's, <laughs> that's, you know, you done, fuck, you done fucked up with that happened yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, God, that's like the worst thing, bro. That's, that's something that he did. He did that to that Edomite, you know, the Book of Maccabees. He made him stink so bad. Yeah, that's nasty, I'd rather really burn alive than get eaten by maggots. I, I, I don't know what it is, but it's just... That's maggots, it. ugh. I can just eat it alive, though? Like, you just sit there and you see yourself eat it? Nah, bro. But it's probably inside of his skin, too, though. Like, <laughs> underneath the skin. That's nasty. You know how you're getting them parasites and shit up inside yeah. of you? They be up inside of you, bro. They're eating you from the inside out. Ugh. That's nasty. <laughs> that's disgusting, bro. It says... That's why the scripture said, Lord is the king of terrors, man. That's why she, by day, don't make the Lord angry, man. She, yeah. 
says, uh... You say you got comfy, who's next? Yeah. It says, uh... Who? It says, then, uh, then make of the prayer for his goods, for his wife and children. And it's not ashamed to speak to that which have no life. Yeah, like you speaking to a thing that's like, please, please, Lord, it's like not even a lie. Like, what the fuck, you look crazy. He says, for health, he calleth upon that which is weak. What about the Catholics? They pray to fucking Mary. Ain't no Mary answering you. Like, Mary is actually over there listening. Like, oh, I hear you, my child. Go in peace. <laughs> Mary gonna come out and bless you and give you power. Fuck out of here. Ain't no Mary. She probably reincarnated. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. the same thing. Like walking around, don't even know. She probably don't know who the fuck she is. Exactly. She walking around in the ring. She already reincarnated. She yeah. walking around. People praying to her. That's crazy. That's some bugged out. She shit. probably a cool. She probably wanted to because the scripture says she was a uh, what did it say? call her? Right. I didn't say righteous, did it? In the Luke, I forget what it called her. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Exactly. We're gonna say she's an okay woman. You know, what yeah. I man. We ain't gonna put Mary on no pedestal over here. Yeah. But she is the mother of the Lord, but I mean, we supposed to worship her. Even he, he didn't, you know, God, the Lord talked to her. He talked down to her. I mean, he respected his mother, but that one time he was like, woman, what I got to do with the woman? She tried to get him, she made him uh, turn water into wine, and he got mad. He's like, what I got to do with the woman? He called her woman. He's like, woman, boy, what, what, what I want to do with you? He's like, don't you know my time has not yet come? You know what I mean? That's an Esau voice. They the, they the, the, the sick. They, that's the real virus. That's COVID. Is Esau? He's a goddamn virus. It says for life, pray to that which is dead. For aid, humbly beseech of that which have least means to help. And for a good journey. He acts of that which cannot set a foot forward, and for gaining and getting for the good success of his hands, acts of ability to to do of him that is most unable to do anything. Can't do shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, niggas just standing there. It's just idols. It's not alive. I, it's, it's, it's fucking stupid, man. If you really worship that shit, you're an idiot. And we all been there. You know what I'm saying? We all worship some type of idol. Like I said, the main idol... We go back to that fucking Christmas tree. If you put a Christmas tree in your house, you're a fucking moron. Shit, Jeebus. Gee, that's an idol. Even if you don't have the, the statue or whatever, you, it's still it's still an idol in, in your in your head that you pray to. Yep. Every time you think the of white Jesus, Jesus, yeah, you think of that think of that nigga. It'll pop in your head like, how you doing? Yeah. He's like I love you, my child. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny. I said picture. <laughs> The white Jesus, what's that? <laughs> it was a picture of G Jesus. He was, you know, you know, you know that show, uh, 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 the fuck is it called? Prince of Bel Air, whatever. Yeah. And then, then, then I dance the carton, whatever the fuck he's doing, yeah. whatever. <laughs> With a picture of Jesus doing that shit. <laughs> he said, I live my, I live my, <laughs> he said, I live my best life. I ain't come back to save you niggas. That shit crazy, man. Yeah. It's true though. Like you know, he ain't give a fuck about you. He, he don't care about you. That nigga, he probably reincarnated. He probably what they what the apostles say they believe is that one, the plastic Jesus, that one nigga, uh, one rough child. He was like Jesus. Oh, you name. talking about uh, Caesar Borgia? Or yeah. Bor Bor how are you say I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about today. Like, yeah, right. David D. Rothschild. Yeah, that nigga. He is probably that. They nigga. It looked just like him. Yeah, because he was the because uh, they're so called Jews, just like the <laughs> Pope Alexander the Sixth. <laughs> You do a Google search of Pope Alexander the Sixth. He got the hook nose from hell. You see it? He looked like he, got, he was a crypto Jew. And right, that's crazy. When Pope Alexander the Sixth came into power, it was in like 1492. That's the same year Christopher Columbus came to the Americas. That's when everything went to hell. It was right there when that guy came into power. So yeah, he could be Evelyn Rothschild. I mean, Evelyn Rothschild could be him in the reincarnation. And uh, David D. Rothschild could be uh, Cheshire Borgia. I mean, it could be. could very well be. Could be. I don't know. What were you just talking about? This is, I can't remember. I had a good point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that white Jesus. <laughs> That's an idol to be talking to people inside their head. He yeah. appears to him. That's a demon. 
Yeah, he'll manifest himself as a uh, treasure of Borgia on you, the white Jesus inside your mind. And he'll come to you and he'll tell you wrong shit. He'll tell you, to, you know, it's okay to do it. Oh, you can love everybody. God loves everybody. He loves Edomites. Don't listen to those Israelites. They're, those are evil. It's okay. You can suck that dick. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay to be a homosexual. I'll still love you, my child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, that nigga ain't te teaching, te uh, taking, uh, take care of his woman. You can go ahead and take care of her. Oh yeah, that's how you to commit adultery. Yeah, that's that's, that's who the white Jesus is. That's a devil. That that, that nigga Tyler Perry he shows that shit a lot in his movies. With his, the 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 the, uh, the girl, she uh, the, the husband, whatever. She's such an ass. He's such an asshole to his wife. And then, then some other nigga, Captain oh, Saveho, comes. Oh, through. the simp comes yeah, through. Yeah, and then he he takes it over, and then he takes he he. He's all perfect to her and shit. Get the fuck out of that, here. That spirit is simping, man. Captain save a hoe -isms. That shit. Y'all that, y'all gonna get put to death. All you Captain save a hoes and you simps out there. Niggas. The most high got a special. He got spiggers. a special gift for you. What's that? You niggas and spiggers. <laughs> spiggers? Yeah. I ain't heard that one. <laughs> I got another. I don't say the N word. <laughs> it cause, I get in trouble. Sorry. People probably beat me up for it. <laughs> Uh, Baruch 6 and uh, uh, 11. Yea, they will give. They uh, they will give thereof to the common harlots and deck them as men with garments, being gods of silver and gods of gold and wood. Yet can the, cannot these gods save themselves from rust and moths, though they be covered with purple remnant. They wipe their faces because of the dust of the temple, when there is much upon them. And he that cannot be put to death, one that Offer of him, hold it for uh, it's like a him, it's like I'm reading it. He that cannot put to death one that offended him, hold it for scepter as though he were a judge of the country. Right, that's a good point. Hold up, because the idol can't put you to death, can it? No, sir. The most high will put you to death. Yeah. Most high will fucking kill you. I mean, he will fucking kill you. He will put, he'll put, like we saw my hey Rod, he, well, you get that. I mean, he'll come up with some sick, fucked up way to die for you. That's what the Most High does. Or first, he might kill your children first. Most High's got power. Remember, just like when we were talking about uh, when Elijah, he set up his altar, and he got the priest of Baal to set up their altar. He's like, okay, I'm going to set up my altar, and you set up your altar. We're going to see which one works. We're going to see whose God is real. And he put his offering on his altar. He poured water all over it. You can't catch it on fire if it's got water on it. And he called on the Most High. Fire came down from heaven and roasted it on fire. And then the, the, the priest of Baal, they, the, no fire came down from heaven for them. So guess what? Elijah put him on to death. So that's what happened to him. Yeah. The Most High is real. All this other bullshit is not real. Mm -hmm. now you can see the Most High is real. He'd be killing people, bro. I mean, I've just seen too many people get taken out. Like, shortly after we teach them. It's just something, right? You, just, you already know what I'm talking about. Motherfuckers be getting put to death, bro. This is not a game. And the most I either put you to death or will get you locked up in jail. Like your boy. Oh, your boy's out of jail. They let him out of jail over the Rona. Oh, shit. Bro. Dave? Oh, shit. Damn. What's he doing? He already hit me up. Talk about. I ain't really talked to him that much. So. Wait, wait, they let him out? What the they fuck? let him out, yeah. Even, 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 what he... I don't, I don't even know. I haven't even talked to him. So, I don't know. That's, wow. That's fucking crazy. They letting everybody out of jail. Yeah, I didn't really think they would do that, though. Like, for somebody that crime. I thought it was like little low crime type shit. Like little, little bullshit crime. Maybe still a car. I think shit. the shit he did was only a maximum of like three years. I looked it up. He, I looked up the charge. You can see it. It wasn't even. I ain't gonna say. We just saying all that shit on camera. Ooh, we said, uh... Yeah, the most high fuck you up though, man. Because we had this dude. He was teaching with us. I and mean, I loved him too, though. But you know, like a brother. You know, he, he crazy as hell. <coughs> he got locked up in jail, man. Twice! Twice! Fuck. I don't even know what happened to everybody else who was out here with us. They all fucked up too. 
You just don't hear from him. Yeah. Gone. 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 There's one dude he's teaching, we already told you about many times. He got put to death. He got killed. Dude, nephew, Nephilim. We well, teaching the truth every day. The most high put him to death. He got killed. Oh, shit. I got another battery.